Hello everybody, this is Colin Blow coming back at you with a new plugin I'm let y'all check out. Call it uh, it's a robot one, we call it Poobot for the original artist sculpture of the uh, robot itself, Poo Water over at a Dark Ages RP server. Great idea, and I just expanded on it but a lot, I guess you could say, but uh, here they are. Um, we got two current flavors, blue and red. We had a black one, but uh, the it was using the hobo barrel and had issues, so we nixed that one for now. I'll come up with something else. But here they are, giving you guys a quick overview on uh, their usage, what they can do, what they can't do. They're just little robots made out of rusty parts. Red versus blue here, I guess you could say. Um, Initially, you can either, if you have the spawn permission, you can just type poobot.spawn and it'll spawn them on the ground. Um, other than that, you got most normal players will just get them either rewards or find the pieces, which the pieces are not implemented, but what you do just right here, here's a poobot. It's basically a large wooden chest with a little skin on it. You just put it in here. All you got to do is deploy it. Anywhere you can deploy something, you can't do it there, so you got to find a place you can deploy. There we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. It'll refresh itself, and there you go. From here, all you gotta do is jump up in him. No spot. I'm gonna give you some quick tool tips every time you jump in. Uh, just a couple info info bars every time it'll randomize itself. At the top here, we have a the little bar. Swap weapon is more like a placeholder for now, and so is sentry mode. That's coming soon. A spar mode is there. Yeah, you can enable that. It'll just make your robot jump, go forward and backwards by itself. So if you had two of them, you could technically fight each other, you know, and not have to have a second person. And it's not be just jump back in and turn that off. Uh, you got your fuel indicator. Rockets, if you have them in your inventory, if not, if they don't have any, it'll say no ammo, whatever rocket. It uses the basic one by default, and then it finds incendiary, then it goes to HV, depending on which order you want to use them. And repack robot, we'll put him back in your inventory, see right here. Just a note, your robot does have to have full health and not be under weapons cooldown to repackage him. So we'll put him back out here, I'll show you guys. There we go. He's gonna refresh in just a second. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, there we go. We're running around. Okay. There we go. We're gonna be shooting some rockets. Yeah, you got left right. Boom, you know it's a little cooldown timer on both and you get two shots. I got set pretty low ten seconds, so I can't wait too long. Over here you can gather from trees by default. There you go. A little inside view. There you go. That's pretty good on trees. I say all this is configurable. You can get a lot of options. There you go. I like most players won't have third-person view, but uh, I guess if you're standing in a robot, you really probably won't see a whole lot of. <laughs> third person now they will crash into things so you can't just run into people's houses and shit like that it will stop you from most things I mean to a point I mean it's not perfect but it's pretty good okay so now you got a sprint key you can sprint there's also a charge it does stop you for a second but it does give you a quick burst real quick in case you need to get Oh, there's a sign right there. Let's say we're reloaded. We can do two at one time. There we go. Okay, now we're back again. I'm going to try to show you guys a sparring mode I was talking about. Just kind of a cool idea. I'm going to activate this one's sparring mode. Jump out. Try not to get hit by him. There we go. Let's see which way he's facing. He's facing over there. Okay. That's what he's doing. And they will hit you. There you go. There you go. Come on, you little bastard. It's like a dance of. <laughs> Take that, you punk. Try to knock him out so I'll show you guys the repair feature. 
Because he knocks me out first, really. Okay, well, he knocked me out first, so. Yes, he was better than thou. <laughs> uh, two ways you can repair. You can do Poobot that repair if you have permissions, or I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way to repair. Let me turn him off real quick before he, he's ready to fight, I guess. I hit him a few times. Alright, there we go. So, now, to repair, you need, you need a hammer. What am I looking for? Okay, we need a hammer. There we go. And we need resources. We need, by default, these are high quality uh, metal fragments. Come over here. The default is 1,000 per hit. After 2,000, he will stand himself back up and you can use him again. But one option here, you can't repackage him yet until he's full health. So, you know, as long as you got enough metal, you can raise him up to full health. There we go. Full health. Good to go. Now you can tell he's not on the cooldown and he's and you can repackage him. Take him back home with you. You lost the fight, sucker. <laughs> a lot of uses for this guy. I'm going to add a few extra options. Like uh, if you notice, I have uh, another button called swap weapons. And now it's just a placeholder. Um, Flamethrowers possibly. Guns. Uh, maybe just some other things. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, he does walk in the water pretty good. Uh, currently, players do not take damage while sit it, seating, and robot doesn't take it directly, but uh, it does reflect back to the robot. And if anybody shoots you, you know, shoots you or the robot while you're in it, it will be reflected back to you, and you're comfortable, and it doesn't seem like you drown too bad while you're in the robot, so that's not too bad. Definitely probably get a diving mask. <laughs> He's just fun to play with. Okay, quick overview. There we go of the uh, configuration file for everybody. Uh, you can craft them uh, by default. It's uh, permissions are poobot.craft. I think it is. It allows players or whoever has that to craft them. Then right now, to take ten thousand high quality metal, you can change that in config. Fuel uh, by default is not turned on. You can um, go ahead and turn that on if you want, and this shows you right here how many fuel low grade fuel it takes per tick so right here is the ticks every 60 seconds is one tick I guess so it takes five every 60 seconds of this item which currently is low grade fuel so there you go gather this is the gathering uh, how much you gather every time it hits wood and ore and this is how many times it cycles when hitting a tree before the tree is gone. It just here's the other one here, the ore. Uh, so basically, you're getting 500 every time you hit. And you can hit it once and get 100, but if you hold your button down, they'll all hit it five times before it knocks them out. Okay, global. Here's some global commands, global settings right here, right here. This is big stuff. Uh, allow repacking of the robot if the health is not at 100. Uh, Leave, I'll probably leave it false. You can do true. Uh, that way they can repack it anytime you want. If you're just having fun, take it home with them. But uh, right now, when you repack and deploy it back, he's at 100% health. So I just wanted to stop that until I get some other mechanism to fix that and get a workaround. Uh, here's another one. A weapon under cooldown. That it can be a little, I did that on false because you can run around, shoot your rockets, repack, put it back out, and run around, and then you're good to go. Your cooldowns are back to zero. There's nothing globally saved on those. It's all per robot. That's why I'm not allowing him to repackage it until the cooldowns are over. That way there's no abuse. Or as much as less. By default, robots do not hit buildings or players. Set that to true. Then the players can run around and smack buildings. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does do some damage. Okay. By default, reloading the plugin removes all poobots that are not stored in inventory. So, make sure players are repackaging them. Anyone's left out in the world will be cleaned up, processed, and all that stuff. Okay, let's so let me build something real quick and I'll sh show you guys. Okay, giving me some wood here. There we go. 
I say, let me show you guys here. Let me build a little. This little. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Do a quick spawn of the poo bot here. There we go. Just open them up. Now that I have it turned on. There we go. He does pretty good. It's not bad. It's not an overwhelming amount of damage by default. I like to say I would definitely leave it low. It's it does decent, but uh, you're not gonna just bust through some. Another thing globally to do with that. If you have that, I would definitely make sure you have condition loss when hitting non-robots. That way. If you're hitting a building, the robot takes condition loss damage. So if you sit there all day and start smacking on some buildings, you're going to start losing health and eventually your robot will have to be repaired. So it's going to cost you something to be hitting other people's houses and stuff. Currently that's at the false. But uh, back over here, resources, allow robots from gathering. That's kind of cool. I think I like that. Knockback effects. Uh, whenever you hit a robot or something, it'll knock each other back just a little bit. That's on true... Uh, here's the condition loss I was telling you about for and for robots and or non robots okay. Require fuel by default. No Minimum health needed. That's the 2,000 whenever you're pairing and he's laying on the ground 2,000 will bring him standing back up and you can use him again from there or walk around uh, Here's your starting health 10,000 Here you go. This is how much condition loss you get by punching other robots or put or hitting other buildings uh, So here's the damage Robots do 500 to each other, you know, they have 10,000, not bad. Damage to uh, non or 50. There you go. Chances to land a punch will knock the robot down for a few, just not, it's a five second, just kind of knock them down and pick them back up. Uh, now, when they get knocked out, when the health gets to zero, they do fall knocked down all the way out and they can't do nothing with them until you repair them. Uh, radius of the punch, that's just the how wide he punches, kind of a hit, how wide his fist is. Um, that, that's a pretty good setting. It seems to do okay. Amount every time you hit, you restore this is how much your health restores, and this is how many uh, current metal fragments it requires to to do that per hit. Not bad. I had it lower, but it was just taking so long. It seemed just like a pain in the ass, so I just changed it to that <laughs> a higher amount, but require more metal. And then cooldown for the rockets. I have it at ten. Default is like I think two minutes. You can change it whatever you need. Like I say, a lot of options here. Hopefully, I'll add maybe a, like a like a jet pack of sorts later on. Uh, I think that'll be a really cool idea to let them fly around and do their own thing. Uh, one thing I will be doing, I'll be adding where you can get pieces of the robot. You'll have each piece, arm, leg. You can find them in random spawn. You know, just randomly throughout the world. That way, you don't have to craft them. You can just find all the parts. And then just put them together and make a robot. I think that'll be a kind of a cool little uh, quest thing you can do, or something like that. Kind of keep it going. Let's say, remember? And let's say you can always repackage them. The mechanic room. There we go. And deploy them again. Refresh. There we go. I think it's pretty cool. I say there's a little info button down there. Like I said, here we go. Takes a minute to get used to. Not too bad, I don't think. And there he is. Poobot. I think uh, I think it's fun. I think it adds another, just something else to do in the game. Oh, one other thing I got to show you. And then there's a couple moves we got here. You got the right arm, you know, click it. Right now, it's more like a pinball action. Right, left, mouse walk forward backward and then whenever you defeat an opponent you can always do the victory dance here by holding the crouch button <laughs> like suck it suck it yeah that's kind of a victory dance and of course you got your chart you know chart boom kind of charge there i think it's pretty cool all right now hopefully i went through most of what everybody would need just to kind of get going with the robot um, I'll add some more to it, you know, maybe some battles. I'll try to add that, if you notice my other video had an arena, kind of a, a makeshift arena, I'll try to add that copy-paste in there as, a, as an additional file you guys can use. 
Um, also, I will be doing where you can skin the refrigerator arms on the fly. Like, say, if anybody wants to make their own, you know, doing robot battles or whatever, you can do uh, a clan clan skin on the on the refrigerator. I just kind of match the whatever barrel it has to the skin. That way it's red or blue either way. And if I find more parts that work well for the robot, I'll go ahead and add more variants to the robot. But that's it. Uh, you guys enjoy and uh, have fun. I'm saying if you find any glitches, just let me know. I'll try to get them as soon as possible. And we'll see. And it might have a possibility of adding these to the uh, airdrop planes. Maybe uh, they can come down instead of the thing. Maybe you'll just drop a big robot on the ground. <laughs> I think that would be pretty cool. All right, guys. Peace out and rust out. Peace.